so now that I've explained the structure of the show, do you have any first thoughts on either this work or the show in general or anybody? Anybody have any first thoughts? I don't know. I was, um, I, I, I know he's an animator, so I was, I was expecting to see um, more of a narrative happen, happening in the, um, in the, the piece. Um, so um, it, it, it wasn't clear to me like what the what the focus was of the um, of the the video. Um, so I mean I, I'm not sh clear how it apply. I mean I guess um, you know the theme is distraction and depth. So is that this to me? It's like all the other media, which is you know it, it's it's something that is transient that comes and goes and um, this to me seems um, more more of like a, a distraction in ter rather than depth because you really couldn't couldn't see um, what the theme or the message or you know um, clearly articulated in the piece uh, that was my response well uh, I don't know uh, what the artistic intention of the piece was. My takeaway from it was um, because uh, it's done by an animator, the idea of layering comics on top of each other is the, for me, was a deconstruction of animation, of what is form and function of animation, because we, we're able to depict faces and sometimes colors and sometimes scenes maybe little bits of dialogue, but we don't ever see a full form of anything, and there's no cohesive narrative structure to to it, but instead we're seeing the continual layering of form on top of each other, and that on top of, we see the whole piece has the song, I'm not sure if it's played backwards or slowed down or what it is, but at first it's played one way that's not really distinguishable as pure song and then the second half of it it slows down it stops and then we have a second half which is the song and so that for me was the idea of what is how does distraction depth play into a visual uh, audio component of our brain where we are seeing something and if you're hearing something that you can't understand you're not able to understand something but for me the second the second half of it is far more I, I fluid or movement wise able to see some kind of correlation through all of it because the music then plays behind it and I'm able to construct something in my head with the music and the form um, I don't know what um Okay, I was not aware un until um, Anne just mentioned that the theme, for, I think for today's topic or the whole exhibition, yeah, is, is, is depth and distract distraction, right? Um, that's very interesting. And, um, and as Anne said, it, it, uh, what she felt was more of a deconstruction of that relationship yeah, in one form or another. Um, I mean, I, I've never been in such an, um, I go to museums quite often, to galleries all the time, but I'm really intrigued. The reason I'm here personally is the very fact that it's going to be up for one day, you know, that really intrigues me. I've never seen a, a, an artwork up for one day or another. So it's a perpetual new artistic work, which is on the narrative. The problem I had with this, quote unquote, problem, you know, um, the lighting was not very clear to me, so I was not see. I didn't see clearly whether it's animation or anomie. You know, just the view viewing for me was sort of problematic, and um, I I felt the music distracted and overpowered what was visually presented to me, and I'm in a museum, uh, in, in a gallery. My uh, presumption is that the visual nature of my thing should be uh, primary in understanding this. So the song sort of overpowered, the accompanying song overpowered and really distracted me was the aim of it, of the visual. Uh, 
and the visual for me didn't have sort of a, a narrative structure, even if it's a deconstruction, as um, uh, Anne said, you know, and, uh, you know, because um, maybe of my age, you know, um, deconstruction coming from uh, Derrida, I sort of problems with it, but nevertheless, I think uh, deconstruction must have a narrative process in its disconstructiveness, you know. So with this, I, I felt the thing was more static for me. You know, uh, the, vis the animation or anomie was too static for me. And it could be that um, I'm not familiar. I mean, I've seen a lot of uh, anomie films from Miko Mikoyashi from Japan, quite a lot. But here, I, I was sort of intrigued, but um, sort of confused uh, relationship of music to narration and uh, what's the meaning in that deconstruction? What's the narrative structure? Maybe I come from literature, sort of a, a form of narration is important to understand the conflictual nature of something. So I thought here the music was too overpowering relation to uh, the visual. Maybe that's the very nature of the destruction, which is part of the theme presented today. Um. One thing I thought, uh, to your point about the music, I thought if you got rid of the first half of it where the music's being played in reverse or if we're hearing some kind of distortion on it and just had the second half where it is the uh, song that's distinguishable on top of it reminds me or calls to mind uh, a type of music video which is a... Um, you're seeing something that's not, it's not, it doesn't have to be narrative, it's just image to music. And that, I thought that was interesting because it, the second half of it plays very much like that, while the first half completely would destroy the idea of that being its intention. It's clearly not trying to uh, have the image couple the music and that, in in that kind of commercial way, but it, it's interesting that that is what was called to mind because especially for a piece that's placed on YouTube where there is so much of that where you there are so many pieces that are video pieces that are images that don't necessarily have anything to do with a video structure but instead couple some kind of musical accompaniment in the forefront. I, I think that perhaps where there's where depth is evident in the in the video is is that it seems the the combination of the music and the visual seems to me really nostalgic you know that i mean i know he's an um he's an animator and so i um it seems more like illustration to me or comic like a comic strip the way that it was um that they, they had frames so i think um you know, harkens back to a you know a, an earlier time of 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 how animation was has um, was was um, formed. So and the music, I think, was I don't know where you know it seemed nostalgic. It seemed very romantic. And so maybe the the depth happens in our reading of the of the um, the image and our our experience of the of the music. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Thank you, everybody.